Hi, today I would like to talk about ASP.NET and also Ember.js. So I'm sure you have um, seen how to create uh, single page applications using different frameworks. So here I'm going to give you an example of how you can include the technology that you have learned uh, with different JavaScript frameworks. And in this example, I will be talking just about Ember.js and how you can include it with ASP.NET. So let's get started. So basically I have a standard boilerplate ASP.NET application and I will just show you the things I have changed to include uh, Ember.js. So just for a simple example, what I'm going to do is uh, when I click on the about link of my app, uh, I want to be able to download and use an Ember app. So in this, uh, in the C Sharp HTML, I've included all the handlebars and all of the things you are used to seeing with Ember. And uh, so this is all it is. And here I'm uh, including uh, my app as well as Ember.js and everything else. In terms of the JavaScript code, the app.js uh, essentially has uh, some of the routes defined, the standard routes that you would see in an example. And it also does some Ajax using promises and it goes to this particular uh, link to get uh, us the JSON array of posts. And I can show you that this is readily accessible uh, if I go into my browser. And I'm just going to click on that. Just hold on for a second. I should be able to see my posts. So here you can see the JSON post and that's because I'm just running a little HTTP server with course turned on so I can get my post. Uh, and I just showed you that because uh, this example does use that. So if I just start this uh, uh, app ASP.NET app, so let's just see what happens. So once this ASP.NET uh, app is just coming up, see you can see it has the standard boilerplate menus and everything else. And I'm going to turn on the inspect so you can kind of observe it a little bit more as to what's going on. And here I have the Ember extension turned on. So you can see it says Ember application not detected and everything else. So as far as you know, this is right now a server side MVC app, uh, ASP.NET. So everything is good. So if I click on home, uh, it's the same thing. And then uh, if I go on about page, uh, you can see uh, when I do this, my Ember jet uh, app is getting loaded and you can see it detected Ember and it's got all the routes and everything else here. You can see if I click on posts, you can even see the posts coming up and everything. And uh, if I click on contact, you got something else. And if I click on uh, about uh, posts, see here you can. So this is an excellent way to include server side MVC. Plus, uh, you can also have a client side MVC using a framework such as uh, ember.js. If you want to, uh, thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to learn more about this uh, and ember.js and uh, see other videos, you can essentially go to my website, Gaur Associates, and you can search for these and many other videos. Thank you for watching this uh, short screencast and uh, you have a great day.